Hello, my loyal, awesome, and let's face it, sometimes controversial fan base. I am sick and stuck at home, and so I wanted to put something out because I'm unable to really do anything other than sit and hack and cough and die in my bed. So what I figured I'd do is put out a little tutorial for you fellow gamers out there to let you know how to get quiet back after Mission 45 in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. So it's a really simple process really after you've already completed the mission of course. If you haven't completed the side op 150 and Mission 45 then you will not be able to do it because of course she has gone for reasons other than how she leaves in Mission 45. So of course there will be Slight spoilers for Metal Gear Solid 5 if you don't know what happens to Quiet. But if you don't, I figure you wouldn't really need to know how to get her back as you already have her. So. Sorry. What you're going to want to do first to start this off is, of course, open Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. You do not want to open Ground Zeroes because that has nothing to do with Quiet and is really more of a prologue to Metal Gear Solid 5 than it is Metal Gear Solid 5. You can't use any buddies in it, and there is no quiet. So, of course, this isn't what you're going to want to be doing. Now, I, of course, you might be noticing this little icon right here. This is a program I have that is a mod manager for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And what I have is a mod that allows me to alter audio, the, the loudness of certain sounds, only because I think a lot of the cassette tapes are a lot quieter than they should be. So I've boosted that up. I don't have anything going on in order to get quiet back or anything like that. This isn't a prank. This isn't a troll. And I know it's April Fool's Day, but this is really a real video about how to get her back. And I know that me saying it just makes it seem a bit more like a, like a great big gag. I know. But this really does work. And if you don't believe me, I'm sure you can look it up on your own online. <coughs> 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 and find a lot of tutorials that will tell you the same. And so anyway, what you're going to want to do to start this off is open up your copy of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I'm doing this on computer, but of course you can do it on any other version. You can do it on the PS4, the Xbox One, and I don't know if it's backwards compatible, but if it is, you can do it on PS5 and the newest Xbox, and you can do it on the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game. It works for all of them. The only thing that will be different is, of course, your controls, unless you're playing on computer and using a controller from one of those other systems, because then the controller will be, div will be the same, and you'll be able to use the same controls to get quiet back. Now, it's a really simple simple thing to do once you get into it and after you've already beaten Secure Quiet Side Op and Mission 45, which um, <coughs> I believe is called a Quiet Exit. Oops. I believe it's called a Quiet Exit. Yes, it is called a Quiet Exit, and that's what you're going to want to do. Is You're going to want to have beaten Side Op 150, Secure Quiet, and Mission 45, a Quiet Exit. Now, I haven't done either of those. I'm, I still haven't done the Secure Quiet side up, so I won't be able to show you how to do it in real time. But, of course, you can still use this, and it will still work, and I can still tell you how to do it. So, once you, what you want to do is open up Metal Gear Solid 5, whether that's clicking on the icon on your computer desktop or putting the disc in on your console or opening it up from your downloaded titles on your console. You're going to want to open it up and let it load. <coughs> and as you can see, it's opening up right now. And this is what I was talking about. This is my mod menu here on the side. And yeah, it should close. But once it loads up, it will give you this prompt saying logging into server. Now, it doesn't matter if you're logged into the server or not. You don't have to be online to do this. The only thing that will do is lower your GMP and, I'm sure, your resources, which might affect what you're able to use in your loadout, but it shouldn't matter. Now, it will give you this little slideshow of different companies and who's making the game and everything. It goes through Konami, 
the Kojima Productions, Fox Engine, and NVIDIA, I'm pretty sure, and I don't know if it does this on the consoles, because I know NVIDIA is a computer thing. It might only be doing it on the computer versions, but I'm not sure. I will need to fact check that. <coughs> and once you're in the game here, um, it will load up with this. And if you haven't played through the game at all, this will be a hospital bed. Now, if that shows up for you, this will not work for you because you are still at the beginning of the game. So, what you want to do is whatever control type you're using, whether it be a keyboard and mouse or any form of controller, you just need to press a key in order to get past this screen and give you the other options. Now, I'm using an Xbox controller, as you can see by how the G turn to the X which will open up the legal and privacy this is not where you're gonna want to go this is only <coughs> <coughs> excuse me this is only the terms of use for both the content for the virtual currency and the privacy policy that they use now you can open these up and read through them if you want but I mean I'm sure you don't want to read through a website from Konami because it doesn't have anything to do with quiet and getting her back. Now, once you're once you're through with doing anything else you need to do, press any key and it will take you to these options. It will give you the continue, the download, ground zero save data, Metal Gear Online, options, delete save data, and quit game. Now, you don't want to click on any of these five because they will not help you in securing quiet for your deployments after you've completed the Side Op 150 and Mission 45 at Quiet Exit because after a quiet exit, she will be unusable. Now, <coughs> it's not an easy fix to not have it happen in the first place because you can't just put off doing mission 150 because after a while in the main game after doing missions she will leave mother base and you won't be able to use her for deployment anyway and you'll have to do side up 150 securing her and mission 45 at quiet exit in order to get into the ability to be able to do this fix right here now, clicking on this will only show you that you can download the save data. You do not want to do this unless you haven't done it already, in which case you're going to want to click yes so that you can have your save data. Now, what this does is if you've rescued any prisoners or done any side ops where you rescue prisoners or anything like that or completed the Deja Vu mission, it will not do anything for you because completing the Deja Vu mission and then doing this will... <coughs> <coughs> Completing the Deja Vu mission on at least normal, and then downloading your Ground Zero save data will allow you the ability to use the Solid Snake PS1 model in your deployments as a costume. Now, you don't want to go to online because you will not. this will not bring Quiet back unless you have the DLC which adds her as a playable character, but that will only let you play as her in online, it will not let you deploy her as a buddy in your missions or free roam or side ops or anything like that. The options of course will bring you to your options. You will have your control type which I use action type and not shooter type because this is what I am used to. So once you're through with doing this you can apply your changes, you have your control settings where you can mess with the vibration, force controls, mouse sensitivity, everything that you see right here but I've already got this set up <coughs> so you don't need I don't need to do this and you probably won't either if you're this far into the game you can apply your settings changes if you need to of course you have the camera settings where you can change more sensitivity settings and you can turn on or off camera shake um, and then of course you know apply your changes you have display settings where you can select subtitles everything like this and then, you know, of course, apply your changes. Same with the sound settings. Same with the game settings, which um, this is where you can turn on the chicken hat. Or enemies won't detect you for a couple times, but it will limit your rank to an A or lower. 
This will give you the option to either start up the Phantom Pain or online. Of course, you're going to want to be able to start up the Phantom Pain. So if you already have it set to online, you need to make your way over to the Phantom Pain from online. That doesn't mean you have to change this. That just means you need to be in the Phantom Pain and not online to do this. So after you've done all, <coughs> all of this, <coughs> you will apply your changes. Screen brightness, of course, is how bright your game is. And then you can apply changes. Graphic settings, of course, will change how your game looks. You might need to boost your resolution or change anything else like that. I only have my stuff on low to medium because I'm only running this on a laptop. I don't have a dedicated don't have a dedicated desktop to be running it. And then you of course will apply your changes. And then you have key assignments for changing your keyboard and mouse controls. Which <coughs> you might need to do if you're playing on a computer but if you're using a computer I'm not sure if you can reassign keys other than just changing the control type which is of course up in the control type menu I don't think you can have any form of customization other than these two settings <coughs> so after you've done the settings if you even do you will not want to click on these two either because this will of course delete your save data and you'll have to work all the way back up and get all your progress back again which could take a while depending on how many FOBs you've built up, how many platforms, what weapons you develop and how much time you spent doing all that because you don't want to lose that so if if you click on this do not click yes that will delete everything and it will close the game and you'll have to reopen it and then work all the way back up and complete mission 150 and side up 150 again mission 45 my apologies <clears throat> and then quitting the game, of course, will close the game, which is also not what you're going to want to do because you need to be in the game like this. As you can see, you will be in the helicopter. You will be able to see one of your weapons up there. <coughs> and you should be sitting in the helicopter as Snake, able to open your eye droid like this. It should give you all of these things, it should show you everything, it should also show you any rewards you've gotten, whether it be through online combat deployments, or Please through other things such as uh, your daily rewards. Now, we'll open you to the map screen, and it doesn't really matter which map it opens you to, whether it's the African map or the Afghanistan map, because either way, you won't want to do any free roaming because that's not what's going to help you get quiet back you will have the <coughs> 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 sorry you will have the mother base tab over on the left where you're able to customize any of your things uh, like weapons helicopters vehicles buddies emblem base color avatar name it but you won't be able to customize your weapons unless you've completed the side op where you uh, extract the legendary gunsmith. Of course, there are three of them, and you will have to do all three to actually get him. It's hard. But after you've done that, you will get the option to customize your weapon. So if that doesn't show up for you, it's probably only because you haven't done those side ops. Now, you also have the development where you're able to develop any amount of things like your weapons, your body equipment, helicopter and security devices. And now it doesn't matter <coughs> what equipment you have developed for this because there is of course an easy way to, to do it. And now you also have your resources where you can see everything that you've collected over time which is a bit important because depending on what you drop in with it will use up both materials and your medicinal plants so if you don't have a good enough stock to use them you might want to go with a cheaper sorry you might want to go with a cheaper loadout for this now you also have staff management where you can manage all of your staff that you have on mother base and all the other platforms you will have base facilities where you can construct <coughs> <coughs> new FOBs 
and also the platforms within them. You have security settings where you can change up how your security is, of course, if you've gotten that far. If you haven't, I wouldn't worry too much about it because I wouldn't worry too much about it because if you don't have this stuff unlocked you obviously aren't far enough to be able to get quiet back or to lose her in the first place you have your PF grade which is the online simulated fights that your FOB gets into where you will have a depending on when you got into the virtual leak or if you even are, you will have a list of fights that your FOB has gotten into. And then... <coughs> Short League is more of the same. <coughs> Where you will have a list of fights you've gotten into, your ranking, and your previous results, and your previous rankings. Now, you also have the database, where you will have the types of animals you've collected, medicinal plants, and the code names. Although I don't think this only shows you code names you've collected. You also have documentation which shows you your blueprints you've collected, your key items, your posters, and your memento photos. And these don't matter unless you're doing the thing on the medical platform, which I will not discuss further because I believe it's a bit of a spoiler for people that haven't played the game. But if you're watching this, you might have already played the game, but I will still take the precaution. And now, <coughs> that is the mother base tab. Of course, you're not going to want to do anything over here because none of this will help you get quiet back. And you can, of course, also see how your, your platforms are doing in helping you and what ranks they have. This is, of course, the map where you will be able to place markers, but there's not really much that I can do to show you anything on this map because this is the African map. And you're going to want to be on the Afghanistan map for how to get quiet back. <coughs> Sorry. Then in the missions missions tab, you'll have your mission list, your site op list, your combat deployments, the FOB missions, your challenge task list, the relationships, your cassette tapes, the log, and returning to mother base as an option. Now, as you can see, I have not completed the secure quiet site op. So I won't be able to show you how to do it exactly but I will be able to tell you how to do it without showing you and I believe that you should be able to understand what I say in order to do it because it's it's really it's quite a simple really really easy way to get quiet back they made it quite easy <coughs> to do so of course you'll have your missions list we'll be able to see all the missions that you have completed or incompleted your side ops where you'll be able to see the same thing although it does highlight mission side ops that you've already done for you to be able to redo them if you've ever I think it's kicked out any of the people that you obtained from these or if you just want to do <coughs> <coughs> more target practice now you also have your combat deployments which is where you can take on online dispatch missions in order to get volunteers, uh, resources, GMP, or these. These will help you within the um, the PFs, the private forces thing that I was showing you, where it's the weekly and short league and everything. These will help you with your offensive and defensive capability, respectively. Now, of course, there's just more um, staff and GMP getting. So. You also have FOB missions, where you'll be able to infiltrate other players' FOBs. You'll have people that are on your grade, higher ranking ones. These are people that you are able to retaliate against. Uh, nuclear equipped people, where you will be able to go in and take their nukes. Um, <coughs> you'll be able to visit your own to train and see how good your base is. You have your events, both in a normal and a hard mode. You have intruders, people that have gotten into your <coughs> FOB and made their presence known. Security challenge, where you're able to go and um, go through other people's FOBs that have security challenge enabled. 
and then a unit deployed list where if you go into this and uh, I don't think you're able to do it for these ones but you are able to dispatch an FOB unit so if you go here this guy he has a level 14 so you would be able to dispatch an FOB unit where <coughs> you can send in your uh, you can send in your FOB dispatches and you can have them help you out so it will uh, lower their abilities I believe and also help you with being able to uh, I'm sorry help you be able to um, inflict more damage on them when you go in there I believe I've never done it because <coughs> I don't think there's any point to really. Um, and then of course that that's really all there is to the FOB missions. This is your challenge task list where you can see what you've done and if there's anything else for you to do. Like with these ones, uh, if you these would give you S plus staff, which are really quite good to have. Especially if you don't have an easy way to get them, such as being good at FOB missions. And now, <coughs> it will show you also all the unachieved ones that you have, so that it's not all modeled up with ones that you have done and haven't done. And this is where you can accept your rewards from having done, from having done FOB things or any other challenge tasks really. Mine is just an FOB defense thing. So, you can accept those. <laughs> and sometimes, if you haven't done all of these ones, all the having a stocks of anything, then it will give you another one for having a higher stock. Like, um, if I have a defense of level 300, I will get 8, which will throw me over the threshold for getting 10 of them, and then I'll be able to get 4,000 minor metal. Then you have... <coughs> relationships with other PFs and then uh, these are your friends here these are people that you're supporting and your supporters um, and I think it also has a enemy tab once you have enemies but what you can do is <coughs> support people that do have FOPs of course this is one of my friends, and he does not have an FOP, so I can't support him yet. And I'm not sure if any of them do. I don't even know if all of these guys have a Metal Gear Solid 5 to begin with. Now, you'll also have your cassette tapes, where this one... <coughs> <coughs> you have three different tabs. You have info, which is more story-based cassette tapes. You have music, also separated into three ones. And your acquired tapes. Now, as I said, info tapes is more things pertaining to the story, where it will give you tapes every so often that you can listen to in order to better understand what's going on behind the scenes of your missions and everything. And then you have the music, where I believe music one is things that have already been in the Metal Gear solid video games before such as snake eater the peace walker theme and uh, love deterrence which was also in peace walker now i'm not entirely sure if all of them have been or if there's a different reason these are all in the same category i would need to find out myself <coughs> outside of all this but if anyone could let me know that would be very helpful and really helped me understand why these are all in a different tape other than what I already have as a theory. Now, music tape 2 is songs that exist in the real world, such as uh, Gloria, Rebel Yell, Take On Me, uh, Friday I'm In Love, and yeah, of course Man Who Sold The World, which is a really the theme for Metal Gear Solid 5, the theme song it plays all the time, and I, I think it's a really good song. But you also have 
music that you've downloaded onto your own <coughs> music folder in the game if you're playing on PC. If you're playing on a console, I don't believe that you can have your own custom music. But I just have some songs I like, and Sans will always be there, I believe. And I also have one of my own songs in it because I think it's very neat to be able to play my own song. Now, <coughs> <coughs> your acquired tapes are things that are outside of all of them. They're not really info, they're not music, but they are still things that exist in the world. Like the Afghan lullaby is something that plays. You have the African lullaby. Uh, you have pauses humming of her doing humming love deterrence from Peace Walker. You have uh, how quiet hums. Then you have um, some other miscellaneous things, such as a soldier with a stomach ache recorded in the toilet and the enemy eliminated set type. You also have the log, which will show you messages that you've gotten, radio things, <coughs> <coughs> conversations, will show you the guide, trials that you've done, cutscenes, MB coins that you have or have spent, and all of them, everything. It just shows you everything that you've been through. And then, of course, there's a return to Mother Base where you can select any place on Mother Base to go to, whether that be Command Platform, Intel Platform, Base Development, Medical, Combat Unit, R&D, Support, or even the Quarantine Platform. And if <coughs> you press Y or Triangle on PlayStation, you can go to the Animal Conservation Platform where you're able to see different animals that you've collected over the course of your game. Now... None of these ones really matter so much as the mission list matters. Now, I'm just going to run that back again. You are not going to want to go through the Mother Base tab. The map does not matter. And in the missions tab, nothing but the mission list is where you're going to want to go. Because all of these will take you to miscellaneous things and supplemental things that will not help you get quiet back. Now, of course, what you can do is once you've completed both Side Op 150, Secure Quiet, and Mission 45, which I don't have unlocked yet because I haven't done Side Op 150, you're going to want to get both of those complete before you continue. Because this is a very, very simple thing to do, and if you don't have both those completed, you won't be able to do it. Because as you can see, if I go into a mission, and I go to buddies, I will not, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, if I go into buddies, I will not be able to select quiet because she is off of mother base and that's why you have to go secure her. And if you do this, excuse me, if you do this series of instructions before securing quiet and doing mission 45, you will not, it will not work because she's off mother base and gone for reasons other than what happens at the end of mission 45 and I will explain what happens. So at the end of mission 45, Quiet has to call in Pequod, which is the pilot of your helicopter and she has to tell him where to land in order to save your life because Snake has been bitten by a snake. Now in order to do this she has to speak English, which of course, she has the English vocal parasites within her, so when she speaks English, she is risking infecting everybody else that speaks English after she already has. And that is why she leaves, is in order to save Big Boss and Mother Base from being infected with the vocal parasites. <coughs> <coughs> and now, excuse me, I need to get rid of all this on me now after you've completed both side op 150 and mission 51 it will be a very very easy development project has been added. it will be a very easy process 
so as, as I said you will have this rewards tab which will show you your rewards for anything your daily rewards things you've done for dispatch missions and it will give you everything that you've earned or lost and as you can see you just press A to accept one or you press X to accept all of it at once and it will give you a report of who you've earned now I don't like to keep <coughs> soldiers under an A++ on any platform other than the combat unit because the combat unit can have anybody I don't mind because those guys will only help no matter their rank and now of course I have a challenge task <coughs> completed and this is for completing key dispatch missions and see how I just got 10 and it will give me another one because I have 10 so I'm able to accept another challenge task <coughs> I'm able to accept another challenge task reward and since I've completed another key combat deployment I'm able to send out a team on uh, another key one and I can also send them out on these ones right here Oops, because I have more open space now. So, after you've taken care of everything, and you have completed Side Up 150 and Mission 45, which I do not have unlocked, it's a very, very simple process in order to get Quiet back ready for deployment as your buddy. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to complete both those missions, both Side Up 150 and Mission 45. This will make Quiet unavailable for reasons other than that she is off Mother Base because she has left in order to not infect both. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. She has left in order to both not infect Snake or Mother Base with the English strain of the vocal cord parasites. And, of course, after that, she won't be available for deployment at all. And you have effectively lost a buddy that you have developed a lot of equipment for if you've been using her. And I can show you here that she was one that I used a lot because I have almost everything developed other than her other skins. Other than the Sniper Wolf and Grey XOF because I think they are cool. So, if you have... Right, if you have... <coughs> <coughs> All right. If you have anything developed for her or a lot of equipment developed for Quiet, then it will seem like a waste that they just take her away from you and you aren't able to use her again. Of course, this can be remedied with this process after you've completed Side Up 150, shown here as an important side up, which will you will be able to get to it quicker like this, or Please and completing Mission 45. Now, after you've completed both of those. Both side up 150, secure quiet, and mission 45, a quiet exit, you will not be able to use her at all. And so, if you go back into your missions list, and you go all the way up here to the mission 11, cloaked in silence, you're going to want to accept it. And as you can see here, I do not have quiet available, and I won't be able to make her available using this method, so I can't show you any farther than this. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to commence the mission, drop in whenever. Then when you start, you're going to want to do the um, supply box trick. And if you don't know what that is, you're going to... I can give you a quick rundown real quick just as a, a one-off run-through of this mission. So you open up the mission, and it should give you this tip screen where you can... <coughs> where you can... Sorry, where you can run through the tips and see different things, just in case you didn't know. Sorry, I had to take a quick smoke break. But what you're going to want to do is, of course, wait for it to load up and then press the A to resume your game. It will give you the episode 11 title screen. And... I believe it should drop you in on foot. Yeah, right here. So, as you can see, 
there is a glint happening right off there in about the middle of my screen every so often. See, right there. And what you're going to want to do is marker. And once you've done that, you're going to want to open up your iDroid. And you can do it one of two ways. You can either get a resupply, which as you can see down here at the bottom, it will cost all of your resources in order to get everything back. Of course, you can make up your GMP if you collect everything, but where she is right now would make that very difficult because she is on top of that ridge right there. And now, what you're going to want to do, of course, is you are going to want to get out of cover and stand and crouch so that she doesn't leave because I believe that if you don't let her shoot at you every so often, she will move to a different spot to try and get a better shot on you. So what you want to do <coughs> is either use this resupply option and drop it on her, but that is expensive of course, so that might not be the best, or you can open up your resupply and then go straight to the weapons or items. And now you can look through here to find the cheaper ones. Of course this one is zero, and I'm not sure if this one is unlocked, I believe that you need a certain DLC for it to unlock. So if you don't, then you can go look through all of your other items and see if there's anything else that's cheaper that you could use that you don't have equipped. Now a smart thing to do might be to unequip the magazine because that is also free and you would be able to just drop that for only 500. And now the cheapest one would probably be any of your shields if you have them developed or just this flare supply. Now you could also see and as I have taken too long she has moved. So a good easy way to find her again is to step out, stand, and you will see where she's coming from. And then of course mark her again and then Back up, stand and drop, stand and drop, stand and drop, just to make sure that she doesn't leave. Now, you're going to want to go to your weapons and items and go to something cheap that you have, such as any of your shields or even the flare supply. Now, you take it and you order it for a drop on her location. Then, you just stand and you keep ducking so that she doesn't leave again. And what this does is it will drop the supply box right on her head and this will only work this trick only works the best in the normal version because in the extreme version she will move before it can hit her but as long as you just keep standing and ducking she won't leave and then the box will be able to drop right on her head and do half of her little blue bar there this will also enable you to do the four easy tasks without having to really exert yourself by going up to her and using CQC. Of course, as you can see, she's left, and there's the glint up there, and you can mark her again, and just do the same thing, of course. Now, back up, sand and duck, go back in here, go to the missions tab, open up your supply drop menu, order a drop of the same thing or something different it doesn't matter and then drop it right on her head and then just keep standing and ducking to make sure that she doesn't leave also make sure that you don't get hit because i believe getting hit will make her move too i'm not too sure but just keep standing and ducking so she doesn't move from getting bored and then after you drop it again it should be enough to completely knock her out and she will go to the middle of the field which I believe will be around this area and as you can see she's been eliminated and she will jump I believe it will show you after this call is done yes it shows you where to go <coughs> excuse me so you're just going to want to make your way over there so that you can decide what to do with her. And once that happens, you are still going to want to be sure to make the choice that I'm about to make.
Now you see there are plants on the way, you can be sure to pick these if you want the extra materials because you're really not losing anything. So, you make your way over to her. It should enter this little cutscene here. And then Snake will pull out his gun, of course, and if you've already gotten this far, you know what happens here. You have the choice to either shoot her or just wait. So what you're going to want to do is wait, because you don't want to kill her. If you kill her, it, it will not work. But doing this process, you're going to want to not shoot her. And in a bit, Snake will pull his gun away and you won't shoot her. And then, you know, it has the cutscenes and you're going to want to wait for the helicopter to arrive. And after all that happens, the other cutscenes will appear. But there's really no need for me to complete. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, there's no need for me to complete any of that. So I'm just going to abort the mission and go back to the aerial control center. So after you've done that, it will show you another loading screen after your mission completes, I believe, and you will show up in the aerial control center regardless. So I'll resume your game, and then you'll be back in the helicopter. And you're going to want to open up your missions list again after you've done that. And in order to do this, you need to do this mission multiple times with the same, ending it the same way with not her killing her or shooting at her or anything. Um, the supply drop is only the quickest way to do it. And of course, it's really easy to check if it's worked because after you've done it how many other times and you are done with doing it, um, every time you go to redo it, you can just open your buddies list real quick and check to see if she's back unlocked. And if she isn't, then you're just going to need to run through it again and do it one more time or more than that. But every time you can just check to see if she's unlocked. And after you've done it enough times, she will be unlocked again and you can use quiet for any other mission or any side ops or even just in free roam, however you want. So that will be all for this video. I've hoped that this tutorial has helped anybody with getting quiet back because I know that when this first happened to me and she left I was a bit upset because she was the only buddy I really used. I didn't really care for D-Walker, D-Horse, but D-Dog is, is quite a big help. So that is all for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching this. I want to you know just uh, hope I hope that I've helped people with getting quiet back and I hoped that even if you already knew about this you might have learned something new with knowing the supply drop trick for doing it for completing that challenge or that mission in an easier way now of course it will still work on the extreme version but she will move if it gets too close so when the box gets close enough you're going to want to stand up and aim and I believe it's about 10 or so when the little yellow number to show you how close it's getting to the ground says 10 you're going to want to stand and let her shoot at you but duck just in time so it misses and with her reloading and taking the shot it should still be able to hit her but you will have to do it more times I believe it's 5 or 6 depending on um, Sorry, depending on if I remember correctly. But it will work for both both versions of the mission. And of, I believe that the only way to get her back is doing the normal version. But if it works for both, I would still suggest doing the normal version because it's easier and quicker. So after you've done it how many other times, you know, just check, see if you've unlocked her, and eventually you should. And that will be all. I want to just give a huge shout out to um, you know the people that I've seen that have helped me out with this the people that have told me about this and I'm just letting everybody else know so it's gonna do it for me I hope this has helped anybody with whether it be getting quiet back after mission 45 or with learning a new trick for being able to complete that mission easier see you all in the next video I make whenever I do that See you later.